and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. My name is Casey and this is a place where I share all about makeup, um, lifestyle, fitness, all of those things eventually since this is a new channel, but I hope that you guys will stay and subscribe and that you will enjoy the video. Today we are going to be doing a review on the new Makeup Revolution collaboration with Emily Noel. These are both of the palettes she came out with. This is the Needs palette and then the Wants palette. This is a 24 eyeshadow palette and this is kind of more your basics, um, bronzer, all of those different things in here. So. If you guys would like to see what I think of these products and how I came up with not only this eye look but part of the face look as well, then definitely stick around. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm really excited about these. I actually just found Emily um, through a makeup group I'm in. They mentioned her and her collaboration and I watched the video and I just loved um, her idea behind everything. This is the needs. So she explained this as like, the things that you would use every day. Um, it has a bronzer, a blush, a highlight, then your basic everyday colors that you can use. So this was the needs and the names of the shades I just thought were really cute. Courage, joy, gratitude, kindness, honesty, passion, peace, faith, hope, and love, and fruits of the spirit. I just love the idea behind this. And then this is the wand. So this is an eyeshadow palette with 24 shades. And these are just all the extra colors, all the colors for fun. This is what it looks like. I really like the plastic actually. I feel like it's a lot better than the typical cardboard. And it has this huge mirror, as you can see, with all different shades. And obviously you have, again, still basic shades, but you have a lot more colors to play with and to just have fun with. So I'm really excited to try this out. I don't know what colors I want to use yet. There's so many options and I just did like a green eye with the Jaclyn Hill collaboration. So maybe we'll try something different. So again, obviously this one's smaller because it's just your everyday needs. Again, it's the plastic with a full size mirror. And here are the shades in this one. It looks like this is actually like a matte setting color, maybe a brightening powder. And then again, your bronzer, blush, highlighter, which the blush and the, actually all three of those look really pretty. So I'm excited to use those, but we're gonna do eyes first. So we are going to take the Wants palette, this huge, palette with this huge mirror. So I'm going to begin by going in with the, let's start with the love shade. Looks like it would just be a good base shade. Looks like it just kind of matches. So maybe above the crease as well. Doesn't add much color, so we're going to go in with Peace. And see if that is a little darker. Yeah, that's a nice transition shade. I really like this shade. It's not necessarily um, needed for the look that we're going to go with today, but it's perfect for, again, like it says, your needs, your everyday transition color. Like just this with some lashes. Honestly, I feel like it would look pretty good. Okay, I really wanna do something kind of different for my eye look, so I think that I am going to go in with Love Tons for my first shade and start applying that. I'm going to use my Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending. And again, I'm taking that Love Ton shade. I'm just placing it right where I'm gonna want it and where I want to blend out from. I've actually never used Makeup Revolution eyeshadows before, so this is my First time. I feel like that is a little patchy, if I'm being honest. But to be fair, I do kind of go in with a heavy hand. I'm just gonna go in with a clean blending brush and try and buff out those edges. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go into the shade Laugh Cry with a fluffy blending brush and use that to buff out the edges. 
blend these shades together, hopefully. I'm gonna go in again with Love Tons, just in the crease once more before we move on to the next shade. I hope my next video isn't a makeup video, to be honest. What do you guys wanna see next? I just wanna be like more myself and I feel like just doing makeup tutorials is not me. It's such a small part of my life. So I wanna share something else next time. I'm going to go in with Pi Fi and apply that in the crease instead. And trying to place it where I want it. I'm going to go in with that brush that we had Love Tons and Cheer on and try and blend that out. I think I'm actually going to take Pi Fi on that brush. So I'm going to actually go into the Needs palette and take Passion. I just really want to deepen that crease. YouTube is so much harder than I initially anticipated. I felt like who couldn't film themselves, but there's just so much more to it. And I think my mom and sister kind of saw that when they were out here. The editing, the planning, all the lights everywhere. And it's just hard. It's a hard thing to do and um, definitely credit where credit's due. The people that you watch and enjoy put a lot of work and effort into it. And I never really knew that until I started making videos myself. And I have so much more appreciation for the people who do this as a full-time job. And I guess I also have another job which just intensifies everything because there's so much for me to do throughout the day. Try and keep up with working out, with having a life in general, while also working a full-time job and pursuing YouTube. Even filming like twice a week is a lot harder than I anticipated or posting two videos a week. I think I'm just gonna have to come up with a different filming schedule instead of doing it during my work day. But the weekends are the only time I have with Conrad since he's up in Denver for training and is there throughout the week. So I also don't wanna do it on weekends. <laughs> it's a struggle. I wanna follow through with it though. So I feel like I should be hard on myself and hold myself to a high standard. But at the same time, like I obviously am not posting on Tuesday of this week. And my video last week didn't go up in time and I'm just trying to give myself a little bit of grace and accept the fact that I have another full-time job and that this is not an easy thing to do when you have both. So I'm going to go in with family. It's like a, another purple and try and place that right above the passion shade. I'm just taking some Tarte Shape Tape and cutting out my crease. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go in with Side Hustle, which is a shimmery green. Spray that with some Fix Plus. Running out. And I'm going to apply that to the lid. Okay, I had to give myself some time with the air conditioning unit. <laughs> Um, I have one in my window, but it's so loud that it'd be really annoying if I had it on while filming. So just a little air conditioning break. But I've just been deepening up this crease and blending out the more um, pinky shade. I sort of feel like my crease is getting lost in this, so I might take just a little bit more of the concealer with this tiny, tiny brush. And sharpen that up
Okay, so I just went ahead and recut the creases. Um, I just went along like the line I already had, but just sharpened them up. And I think what I'm going to do is take this small detail brush and I'm going to take Top Story, which is like a gold, and spray it with a little MAC Fix Plus as always. And I'm going to put that right up here at the crease. This is going to bring um, that contrast, but I'm also going to blend the green into it but it just brings like brightness to the crease area. So the cut crease is more noticeable, I guess. Now I'm gonna take again the brush I was using to pack on the green, spray it, and bring that up towards the gold. I've been trying like more intricate looks this week and it's made me realize that I need so many new brushes, like small detailer brushes, like mini, mini, mini detail brushes. If you guys have recommendations, let me know. Gonna go in with passion, deepen it up. I honestly was really excited for this color combination. I'm going to take a shader brush and take dark and early and put it on that outer corner just packing it on okay i'm gonna take the shade passion i guess i feel like this is the best applying dark shade i've found and i'm just putting it on the outer edge Honestly, I feel like I'm pretty satisfied with that. I feel like the eye look actually came together pretty well. We still have to finish everything up, obviously. Okay guys, so I've set my whole face and now I'm going to go in with the Needs palette and I'm going to take that contour bronzer shade. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm going to try and use it to contour. It looks like a nice shade for contour. I'm gonna take that on my little nose contour brush. I just use an e.l.f. I think it's like the blending brush, but I don't know, it's what I always go back to. I'm just gonna take my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and use that to further warm up the skin. Okay, so I'm going to take my little brush and I'm going to take that blush shade Joy and just start applying it. I don't really apply it to the apples in my cheek because I just feel like it makes my face shape look weird. So that's as far as we're going to take that and then I'm going to take the Gratitude. I feel like it has like a pinky shift to it. It does go on well. Like you can definitely see it. I'm going to set that with my Makeup Revolution Sport Fix. Okay, and we are just gonna finish up the eyes, I guess. I am going to take a Morphe M514, it's like a small blending brush, and take that Love Tons and apply it underneath the eye. It goes on really nice as like a light wash of color. I wonder if this works better over a set eyelid, because I feel like there's no patchiness. Whereas with my lid, I don't set, but under the eye, I did bake. So I wonder if that has something to do with it. I'm gonna go in now with a pencil brush and I'm gonna take Hi-Fi and apply that. 
Now I think I'm going to go in with the Side Hustle green shade and see if we can't get that underneath the eye and bringing that green underneath. Okay, I'm going to go in with the Gratitude shade, that highlight shade. Okay, so I'm done with my eyeshadow. I'm just going to apply some mascara, lashes, and a lip color probably, and then I will be back to finish up this video. Okay guys, so I finished up my makeup and I'm actually loving how it's looking. Um, don't tell me if you don't. <laughs> but I'm just taking the highlighter and applying it to the places that the light hits for a little more reflectiveness. I had it hardcore in the beginning of the video. And it's kind of worn off, so we're just gonna amp it up. So I look insane like I do now. Okay, so I actually really like the look. I think it turned out really well. I have enjoyed both the wants and the needs palettes from Emily. In this palette, I really feel like I like um, both the bronzer or contour shade as well as the blush. I love the blush. And then I did dip into Passion and both Peace and Love, I guess. Um, and liked all three of those. I haven't tried these, but I know that these are going to be great everyday shades. Um, and then the Kindness Brightening Powder I also like. It is a nice palette, and this one I believe is $15. Um, and I used my Ulta points and got some money off, as well as a 20% off coupon, which I think if you are signed up for their rewards program, you would have probably gotten this week as well. Um, so there's that, and then the Wants palette. I like it. I mean, you guys saw it, how it worked. You guys saw my complaints about it. And um, when I was working on my bottom lash line, like I said, it did apply better over the concealer that was set. So I'm wondering if on the top of the lid, if I would have set it, if they would have blended out even better. But um, I mean, it was $20, $20 for 24 shadows. I don't feel like that's a bad deal and I would recommend it. I'm sure all of these shades apply really nicely as well as the shimmers. The shimmers were really easy to apply, which I find is the case with most affordable makeup. And then some of the others might take some work, but I don't feel like it's anything too bad for $20. So if you guys have been checking out either of these palettes or are interested in them, I would recommend picking them up. Again, you guys have heard my concerns and um, the things that I've both enjoyed and also had kind of a hard time with, but I think that you really can work with both palettes and come out with a nice look. I really liked Emily and what she stood for, and so I really wanted to pick these up, and I'm extremely happy to support her and excited to do so. So um, my honest review is that I really do like these palettes. I would recommend them, and um, I would also recommend following her. She's such a sweetheart and I just, I like her. If you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me a lot. It helps me with visibility as a really small channel, and it's also just very encouraging, so definitely do those things, and also push the notification bell, um, and it'll notify you of all of my uploads and anything that I post to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for subscribing if you have already, and if you haven't, I would love if you would join us. There's a lot in store, and I feel like there are a lot of good things to come, so stick around, and thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for your love and support, and I will see you guys next time.